Oh shit. <laughs> We're having some technical. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Sorry, you guys. Hi, everyone. I'm gonna plug this back in. Coach Sarah Joy here. Um, I'm in this beautiful park with my coaching friend and colleague, Jessica. Hi. 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 So, um, <laughs> So I wanted to jump on live with Jessica to do a really important video for you guys today that I've wanted to do for a while um, to educate my current clients and my future clients of, and just everyone in general, the importance of a hair tissue mineral analysis test or HTMA test. And, um, Jessica actually specializes in that, so I wanted to um, turn the time over right now to her to be able to introduce herself and um, educate you guys on what a HTMA test is and why I use it in my 90-day program and why I feel like it's so incredibly important to your thyroid health. So I'm gonna do awesome. Hi. My name is Jessica Sharp, and I am a certified holistic nutritional consultant and an HTMA practitioner. I specialize in micronutrient deficiencies for optimal health to help, I specifically help thyroid patients regain their energy, help them lose weight, and regain their life. Um, just by fixing tiny little deficiencies that we miss in our everyday life. So. Um, it's been one of the game changers for myself. Um, I was born with hypothyroidism, so it's been it's been quite a journey, and I I definitely feel like micronutrients were the the turning point in my health. So I'm really excited. I love nerding out about minerals and micronutrients, so I'm really excited to talk about that today. And if you are here, let us know if you can hear us, because I'm. Quite, we're pretty quiet and kind of far from the mic so if you can hear us let us know yeah so Jessica was uh, who taught me about a about HTMA tests and then I was so intrigued I'd never heard about one before none of my primary doctors my endo um, let's see the four different uh, functional medicine doctors that I hired and paid boatloads of money out of pocket to no one ever talked about this so when she educated me on it I was like oh my gosh this is amazing so I, I, I did it as soon as I can or uh, could and the results were absolutely phenomenal and I've changed uh, my diet and supplements according to the test results and I've noticed a big difference uh, for the good in my health for sure so that's why I find that super important and I'll let you keep going <laughs> okay so um, HTMA is basically a hair tissue mineral analysis. So what it is, is um, basically a tissue analysis of your mineral pattern um, in your body. Um, and the reason they do it is because um, your blood is homeostatic, which means you have to maintain a certain level of homeostasis in your blood. Otherwise, if it gets too acidic or too alkaline or whatever it is, um, you can die. <laughs> so your body has a very, very intricate level of, um, of balance that it has to maintain. So you have tissue stores and what happens is that when doctors do um, mineral tests in their blood, it's always going to say that it's good because your body will pull from your tissue stores to maintain that level of homeostasis. So an HTMA is when they check your tissue stores for your mineral balance, which is important because um, you can show a deficiency before it shows up in a blood test. So you can experience, and just this is very true with obviously um, thyroid testing as well, is you can have symptoms of hypothyroidism or you can have symptoms of a mineral deficiency without actually sh it showing up in your blood test yet so it gives you a clear picture before you get seriously deficient so you can catch it and reverse it before it becomes a serious problem because by the time mineral deficiencies show up in your blood test it's usually almost too late to fix or 
it can be very dangerous. Like there are people that are on the verge of a heart attack without even knowing it, um, that an HTMA test can help, um, it can help you realize, because especially when it comes to calcium deposits um, and uh, magnesium deficiencies. Um, obviously it cannot prevent, cure, do any of that, so I just wanna make that very clear, but it is a very good way to um, keep your health at an optimal level. Um, yeah, it gives you like a good baseline. That's what I really liked about it for me. It's like I always, I personally always do testing just to be able to first start my baseline and then we'll retest like six months later to see how it's going. And so HDMAs are really, really great for that starting point too. So, and your body as well. So minerals are so important, um, mostly because they are the the catalyst of almost everything in your body. So they create they create enzymes, they create pretty much everything that your body needs to function. Um, sorry, um, at an optimal level. So if you were to look at your blood or your whole body, everything in your whole body is made of minerals from your blood um, to your bones to, there's a very intricate balance of all these incredible minerals that we're all made of but no one talks about and it's so important because that that's the basic foundation of our health is these micronutrients when you're when you eat say um, a carrot or an apple your body doesn't know that you're having a carrot or an apple it doesn't it doesn't know it just kind of breaks it down into these individual nutrients and then it uses those nutrients to build whatever it needs and repair whatever it needs to use and if it doesn't have those things it's going to pull from your stores and if it doesn't have anything to pull from that's when you can create these chronic issues that we deal with today um, and that's why it's so important to have a nutrient dense diet yeah um, food is like instructions yeah it's like data yes. yeah and it breaks down into like like molecules a, molecules yeah like, which is just information yeah, and your body will build its structure based on those molecules that you give it. Yes, mm -hmm. it's it's crazy, and that it's one of the things that if you have, say, a deficiency in magnesium or something, you're not going to necessarily be able to build um, insulin or or other enzymes to break down food correctly, or break down or create insulin or create that insulin insulin sensitivity that we need. So. Mm -hmm. It's crazy because it's just these little tiny deficiencies that if we can just focus on those, we can rebuild our health. And that's really super important and not something most people talk about. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, you can have, you can either fix the deficiency or you mm -hmm. can take enzymes for the rest of your life. And I'm not sure about you, but I don't like taking pills. I don't even care if they're natural. <laughs> So well, the least amount of pills I can take, the better. And so I tried the enzyme thing. I I took the most um, diverse enzyme that I think exists. There was like maybe ten or twelve different enzymes, and I was taking like two or three capsules each meal, like big meal, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And this was before I met Jessica and did all this testing, and it honestly didn't help. It didn't help me at all. I was still experiencing like maldigestion, malabsorption, constant bloating, constant, you know, just problems. And so balancing um, everything out based on the test is, has actually been a game changer. And I don't even need enzymes anymore. Mm -hmm. It's been great. That's so awesome. Um, and that's, so that goes into kind of what, what an HGV will tell you. So how it works is they take your hair um, and that, so you're okay <laughs> I just want to quickly touch on how it kind of works because your body will when it's exposed to any toxins or any kind of like heavy metals or 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 minerals in general you have your tissue stores and what happens is when you're exposed to a heavy metal of some kind whether it's mercury or um, aluminum or any kind of like heavy metal your body cannot have those things in its bloodstream it's very toxic to the human body um, and the blood as well so your body will push those things into your tissue stores so when you're testing your tissue stores you're gonna get you're gonna get to see your heavy metal um, content as well so um, and the best thing 
like minerals detox minerals so if you were to look at any kind of supplement for heavy metal talk um, detox or so on and so forth most of them are minerals because minerals balance they have a very intricate balance so like for example aluminum and magnesium have an intricate balance so when you have a deficiency in magnesium your aluminum is going to start to rise and if you have a deficiency in iodine your mercury can start to rise and then that can create these imbalances of heavy metals that ca that have an effect on your body and um, there has been many studies about um, mercury and cancer connections mm -hmm. and um, aluminum and, and Alzheimer's and dementia yes, yes. Mm -hmm. there's it, it does have an effect and if you look at the amount of um, if you look at the amount of anything that you need like even vitamin D how much vitamin D do you need a day it's like up to 4,000 I use 4,000 international units that's a minuscule amount so mm -hmm. if you're looking at the amount of aluminum or or mercury that you need or that you get exposed to it might not seem like a lot but those minuscule amounts those trace amounts can have a profound effect on your metabolic health and that can create a host of issues that um, are largely ignored by the medical and um, holistic health industry in general to be honest not many people talk about mineral balance and it is it's what we're made of <laughs> it's the mm -hmm. root cause of so many so many things um and not to mention um an overload of the toxic heavy metals like aluminum mercury copper um i always say it wrong is it cad cad cadmium cadmium <laughs> um they also feed pathogens which pretty much 95 to 99 percent of people have in their bodies um, Epstein-Barr being one of the highest pathogens that most people struggle with. Um, those metals literally are food for these pathogens, which then um, they excrete neurotoxins that get stuck onto your nervous system and your, and your nerves and cause a lot of symptoms just from that alone. So it's like there's two huge reasons why it's important to know your mineral and your heavy um, content, your mineral balance. Yes, and also it's funny that you mentioned that because magnesium is one of those minerals that you need to neutralize the toxins that those things excrete as well, especially See? when it comes to candida. Wow. Candida is one of those things that is kind of a common issue, but and candida mm -hmm. will release these toxins that if you're deficient in magnesium, which 80%, 90% of people are, mm -hmm. um, then those toxins aren't going to get neutralized and they can build up in the body, which can create... Um, liver issues and when you create liver issues that can create thyroid issues because that's can. where the <laughs> yeah. conversion happens so it's this domino effect but it mm -hmm. all leads back to your mineral balance and um, so what HTMA can tell you is your heavy metal exposure like we just talked about um, it can t it teaches you about your level of stress um, so there's a burnout state there's anything from like a regular you're just kind of slightly anxious to you're completely burnt out and that you can tell based on your mineral patterns of what your your test will show you um it show and that also will show you your adrenal function as well um based on your mineral pattern it can show you your thyroid function based on your specific deficiencies that your th your thyroid needs like selenium and and um iodine mm -hmm. Um, it can also show your mental function based on your heavy metal, de um, your, based on your heavy metal amount, whether it's, um, mental like function, saying, meaning like if you have severe brain fog, memory yes, loss and anxiety, all that stuff, mm -hmm. those are all related to, like you were saying, toxins that can create mm -hmm. that brain fog. And then you can also get things like, um, your aluminum, your mercury, those things all are neurotoxins that settle in the brain. Um, and then you also have um, your copper toxicity, which is another really common issue, especially with women, especially with our amazing birth control choices that we have. Unfortunately, we're not so far advanced in that area yet. Um, I mean, it's yeah, it's especially kind of if like, you have the copper marina or IUD. Oh my gosh, yes, it's a very it's something that most people there is information out there, but a lot of it isn't widely available or it's not easily found um, but the copper IUD can have a 
very devastating effect on some women's mental health but mm -hmm. and that does affect your zinc status as well so there's that that zinc to copper ratio is super important for mental health and anxiety so it can teach you about your mental function um, it can teach you about your blood sugar function with like magnesium and zinc um, and a few um, chromium as well and I love that you said adrenals because the majority of people that have a thyroid condition have adrenal burnout and yes. adrenal fatigue because mm -hmm. um, they support each other. The thyroid and the adrenal gland go hand in hand and there's a lot of miscommunication or no communication in this area from conventional doctors or sometimes the a lot of times the holistic doctors as well mm -hmm. um, you have to you have to support your adrenals if you have a thyroid condition mm -hmm. it, it, it goes along with helping your energy levels number mm -hmm. one which is huge and like you're saying your anxiety your stress your depression your mm -hmm. all of those um, emotional factors that come into play as well it's so it's all it's also related the adrenals are the adrenals will usually pick up the slack when your thyroid starts to go out, mm -hmm. and then when your when your thyroid starts to go out, your adrenals will pick up the slack, but they can only do that for a certain amount of time, mm -hmm. and then you become just completely burnt out, and that's where we get... Um, and then also, ironically, when you're under a lot of stress like that, you also need more nutrients and more minerals and more vitamins just to stay, like... Up. like yeah. when you are stressed and especially this year <laughs> for a lot of people mm -hmm. um, that burns through your zinc and your magnesium and your other minerals that you need to stay level so there's a so lot it's high a, caffeine consumption yes, high it's, caffeine anxiety you can, you can become panicked mm -hmm. um, that can create a copper toxicity which can create anxiety and it's just this domino effect minerals all relate to each other so when you take one it affects the other and that's why with minerals you don't ever want to just shoot in the dark because they all have a balance and if you start to just blindly supplement with one you are really affecting all of your mineral balance so it can throw you in this biochemical mess or metabolic and just completely wreck your health um, that's why this test is super important and I do it on all of my clients so it's I have a baseline of what what is going on with you and where we can begin based on your results. Um, yes, and it can also teach you about your stomach acid and enzyme function based on Gut your deficiencies. Function. Yes, and stomach acid is super important for all those amazing mm -hmm. um, we have seven viruses. Blends. <laughs> we have and seven blends of stomach acids, and the majority of people are functioning daily on like maybe one to two because their blends are so diluted, burnt out, or just gone. Wow. because of a bad diet yeah so restoring that intricate blend mm -hmm. in your stomach in order just to be able to digest your food is huge yes and it helps with that could you imagine like not eating like not just not liking specific foods <sighs> like let's for pretend for example that you absolutely hate eating avocado and you really need the potassium so you eat the avocado how mad would you be that you eat the avocado and you're not even getting what you need from it because you don't have enough stomach acid to digest it? Like, how frustrating would that be? I actually I have been through eating that. salad. I just don't. I like. I don't mind eating salad, but it's not my first choice of things that I prefer Smithers. to eat. Yeah. <laughs> so, I wouldn't want to eat a salad to be like, oh, I'm not really getting the nutrients anyways because I have no stomach acid. Stomach <laughs> so. acid to help digest and absorb and assimilate them. Yeah. No. I. I that is not a like hypothetical situation. I'll never forget when I was at my sickest in 2015 and I hired um, a naturopathic doctor to just literally go crazy on testing. And she came back, like I was deficient in literally everything. Like, mm -hmm. And this was when I was really trying to take care of myself. And I, I've always studied health, even when I wasn't certified. Mm -hmm and I was eating so good. And to find out that I had like nothing in my body with considering how good I ate, I was just absolutely floored. So, you know, this is, that that's why, like my stomach was, was destroyed. Like I wasn't mm -hmm. absorbing. So my motto is it's not, 
it's not um, you are you know that you are yes. what you eat I don't like that I feel like it's are what you absorb yes you know yes. Mm -hmm. very much so um, these are all these are all just like some of the things that I can tell you and the best thing about HGMA and you were saying that you went to a functional doctor mm -hmm. functional doctors are amazing amazing they do so much testing, and I, I, I truly believe that testing is important because if you're not, if you're not testing, you're guessing. So, mm -hmm. if you're, if you're just taking all these supplements, which I know plenty of people who I swear live off supplements, it's not healthy <laughs> at all. But if you and expensive, <laughs> yes, very much so. And I'm like, okay, well, I understand, like supplements are important, but if you're not testing, you're just shooting in the dark, and you're. You're taking all these supplements that you probably don't even need necessarily or you might need them but um, you might not be absorbing them there's so many factors that go involved so I love functional doctors because they do a lot of testing however there are not cheap tests and I'm not gonna pretend like I, I saved up for months to go see a holistic or sorry a functional doctor mm -hmm. um, and I paid a thousand dollars just to get three tests and I still had to pay an extra seven hundred dollars to get a GI map and uh, I mean I just like the idea of, of everybody should have access to this test it shouldn't be you have to be rich to get all of this testing done and I'm not I understand that these tests are very expensive to run so I'm not discrediting them they are very valuable and I highly recommend getting them if you can but the best thing about HGMA is that if you can only afford one test the HGMA will show you so many different aspects of your health and give you clues as to what you need mm -hmm. on an individual level so that you can start to feel better because you're looking at it from a bio individual perspective it's not just like try this bad diet mm -hmm. and hope for the best it's yeah it's not... literally information from your hair yes. from your body yes. so you can have a very detailed personalized plan of yes. what you need to do what yes. your body and that can give you um, that can give you so much information like you can mm -hmm. go from um, like you just like and it doesn't kind of go into a fad diet either because you're not like you're not we don't really get you to follow like a keto diet if mm -hmm. you're low in say vitamin A or something like that like mm -hmm. we'll give you specific foods that if you have a deficiency will optimize your gut health try and figure out ways to get you to digest the food that you're eating and then give you foods that are specifically high in those food and mm -hmm. those nutrients so that you can absorb it um, and it's one of those like it's not a fat diet and that's the best thing is that everyone is so they just are so afraid of food like mm -hmm. I don't I was afraid of food I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna pretend like you know yeah, I'm some innocent person <laughs> you know but we've all been there because like, of the because, trends and misinformation yes, so mm -hmm. much misinformation and I think that it's okay to have you know it's okay to eat toxins and that's the thing is our bodies are designed to to handle a specific amount of toxins like mm -hmm. our liver has quite a great um, filtration it's, yes, system it's incredible yeah. thank you it's, <laughs> it's incredible for detox so and mm -hmm. we don't give our, our bodies the credit it deserves the problem is that we're so deficient in so many nutrients that our body uses for detox that it's not doing it correctly. So just by providing those nutrients, our bodies can start to shift and get rid of those things in a safe and effective way. Because our bodies know what they're doing. We can't outsmart them. <laughs> like we're not smarter than our in the intricate and vastly un under misunderstood bodies that we have we don't even know how it completely works yet like mm -hmm. they're still trying to figure out how the human immune system works because it's so advanced that we don't even know so I don't think they that... still don't even understand the thyroid yes yeah. yeah it's just there's it's just so intricate and amazing and that's why I feel like okay we can't really outsmart it so let's just give it what it needs and, <laughs> yeah. and that just shouldn't be that hard our bodies can detox it's mm -hmm. safe like instead of forcing all these like heavy metals out of our bodies with creation therapy which is also Ugh. quite dangerous because yeah. and by dangerous I mean you have to do it at a hospital under the guise of a doctor because mm -hmm. you can die from taking too much out at once like you have to be very you have to be very gentle with your body and, like I grew up in the country <laughs> so 
I'm I'm a I'm very kind of rough around the edges <laughs> a little bit. So which is what I love about her. I just like I'm like okay, I can handle it. Like I want the most. I want the very like let's just get it out. But the the older I get the more I realize like why would you do that to your body just be gentle with it and give it what it needs and it will do the rest for you so yeah. um, just by providing things like magnesium to your body your body will let go of the aluminum like it's really that simple it goes through your kidneys and it gets excreted in your urine and or feces as well so it's not like we don't have to force it out we can just gently provide it with the stuff that, that it is if you go. have a proper functioning liver which is yes. a whole other yes. issue within and itself exactly so that's why we both absolutely um help through diet i 100 percent believe that food is medicine mm -hmm. or food is poison mm -hmm. it can be both and so you know you choose um and so like she said like on my test results, I was um, I was low in potassium. So it's like, okay, drink coconut water. Drink more coconut water because it's like, what, 650 milligrams, I think? Per and cup. Per cup, yes. yeah. You know, it's like, okay, that's easy. Mm -hmm. You know, put a cup in my smoothie every morning, done. Mm -hmm. um, getting my potassium. So um, yeah, there are definitely supplements, you know, that you have to take for the ones you're super deficient in, but we both, we both promote healing and um, fixing through food, mm -hmm. food choices. Yes, it is the, the perfect, and the thing is too about, and I'm not discrediting supplements, because there are, t there's a time and a place <laughs> for everything, and supplements can be helpful, but when you have, um, like supplements can be definitely helpful, but Food has a very intricate source of enzymes and all kinds of things too. Um, the scariest thing too about food though is like, ha like it has to be from a clean source because there are, there's so many pesticides and things mm -hmm. and like that's the, the worst thing about our food system which is kind of a whole other topic but, and that's where supplements can come in handy because we don't always know how many, um, how many minerals are actually in the food that we're eating. So it's, it's, I don't want to discredit supplements because there's a time and a place for them, but I mm -hmm. just truly believe that food comes first. And if mm -hmm. we can eat clean a diet food, that is yeah. for the human body, then why not? And then we can supplement as needed instead of just relying strictly on those things. Um, yeah. And a really easy way to look at it is just eat as close to the earth as you can. Mm -hmm. So, um, if there was one food diet plan, I guess I would have to say that I can subscribe to, it's a whole food base. Yes. So, and I think that's what all, all of them have in common. Every, if you look at every fad diet, every fad diet is don't eat artificial food. And mm -hmm. it's really that simple. Mm -hmm. Every single one, it's all whole foods, whole foods, whole foods. Yeah, different... so what is so what is a vague definition of whole foods? It's just whatever the earth produces. In its real form. And yeah. Non-genetically modified. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. not altered by humanity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as yeah. much as possible. And I mean, it's like, I... There's like a huge debate about GMO. I don't think that it's great, mostly because when you spray... And this is the reason why that most people don't talk about. When you spray crops, ge genetically modified organisms were created to withstand heavy sprays of pesticides. So when you're eating those pesticides and what it does to the soil, it can prevent your plants from actually absorbing the nutrients from the soil, which makes your food not as nutrient dense as it should be. Because the plant's deficient. Yes. The plant's growing deficiently. So exactly. then you're absorbing an already deficient plant. Mixed with the chemicals, chemicals. you're spraying on it. Mm -hmm. So you it's not so much that again you can't you can take in some of those toxins. It's not so it's not so bad as long as you have the nutrients to actually get rid of them at the same time. Mm -hmm. So and we're not getting that because our plants are deficient in the, in the nutrients and then we're just getting the toxins mm -hmm. and then our livers get clogged and then we can't detox them and then that yeah. builds up in your body and then when that builds up in your body you get 
chronic illness. Yes. And there you go. (laughs) And here we are. You don't feel good. Yeah. (laughs) Yes. Yes. And it can create your, it can, not only does it hurt you now, but it hurts your DNA for future generations as well. So it doesn't just affect you. It's not just about your health. It's about the health of your future generations as well. Yeah. So, um, so the way it works. So the process for HD Humane, this is another thing that's really cool because it's very simple, it's very easy, you don't have to leave your house. Um, um, a lot of times people discredit HD Humane because they aren't doing it correctly. Um, so when you do a hair tissue analysis, they take your hair and they, they only test the first about inch. So it's about this, like about this much hair. Wow. <laughs> Two months so, of grow out. And it's about it's about three months. Three months. Yeah, okay. Depending on how fast your hair grows, it gives you about a three month clip of what your um, a three month clip of what your um, deficiencies are, um, and so on and so forth. And your toxic toxicity exposure. It is also the Environmental Protection Agency's num- number one choice of heavy metal exposure. So. This is what the Environmental Protection Agency actually uses to um, test for heavy metal toxicity. If you've been exposed to it, they they test your hair. It's a government regulated test. It's very, very accurate. It's Mm -hmm. very intricate and it's it's like the government choice. It's the bee's knees. Yes. So they check your first inch, um, which gives you about a three month clip. Um, it has to be virgin hair. It cannot be tainted with um, dyes. dyes or other things because that won't give you the most accurate reading. So they give you, they do a th- about an inch of hair and a, about a tablespoon. So when I did mine, I just literally like pulled a piece from here and like clipped it like tiny, a piece from here, a piece mm-hmm. from here, a piece from here. I did it like, you know, underneath mm-hmm. and... Um, and then we met for lunch and I gave her like this whole huge strands of hair and she's like, oh, I only need this clip and then put it in an envelope. And I was like, oh, okay. So, so it's super easy and it's easy and it's not like you're chopping chunks of hair off. You can't see, you can't tell. It's, yes. I have, it's so funny. I have, I had a friend that did my hair and she, she's like, what is this little piece? And I was like, oh, that's my HGMA strand. <laughs> so it's just like buried back here somewhere. You can't she, even tell. She found it. <laughs> she, she found it when she was dying my hair. It was so funny. Oh and she's gosh. like, what is this for? I'm like, oh, that's the one I always cut for my hair test. <laughs> it's great. But you can't see it. So girls, don't don't worry. I have mm-hmm. pretty long hair and I don't mind. Like you cannot tell where you get it done. You just do it underneath. So, mm-hmm. um, And then you put it in an envelope. Um, they, the lab will do an interpretation as well as um, I will do an interpretation or either with Sarah or Mm -hmm. um, on your own either or whatever yeah so if you're working with me then um, like when we get your test results um, I'll add her in on the zoom for your interpretation of exactly what's going on so that I can also hear and understand what's going on so I can help it help you focus on um, whatever whatever supplements she, she suggests and the food recommendations the food to start adding in based on your new your deficiencies yes and this gives you um it's very empowering because you're not just kind of guessing you know that you know sarah has different a different lifestyle than i do Mm -hmm. and you have a different lifestyle than sarah does and so on and so forth so everyone's plan is different it's very very bio individual so it's not just it's not just a guessing game and it gives you this sense of like empowerment because I'm not only going to explain what's like your mineral pattern, but how to fix it and why this is happening, which can, it really connects the dots about a lot of how you're feeling. And then it's, it's different when you know why you're taking the things that you're taking, because I can just take anything and I'm not sure why I'm taking it, but the second you know why it's very empowering and you want to keep taking it and keep doing it. So And then it's actually really cool to know that like every day that you're taking this and then you actually start feeling better and noticing the difference. Um, you, the empowerment part I love is for me, it's like in six months or to a year, then you can retest and you can compare it to your old test and see how much better you're doing. And then you can also like, 
I say write down a list of your symptoms prior to doing this mm -hmm. so that, yeah, you have like that fun comparison to like, oh, look at my new test and how are my symptoms now? And you, you know, mm. it, I'm just a nerd like that. I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's super interesting. And then, and then that's something too is a lot of, like we were saying, fad diets out there. They, they don't individualize your approach so you can you can be having it you can be eating a diet that's actually really bad for you because you're you're like I said minerals all relate to each other so if you're having something that's way too high in potassium and you already have enough potassium and you're in this like state of panic all the time then eating a diet that's going to be more stimulating is not going to be good for a lot of people so it gives you a, an idea of what exactly is going on for you so that you can individualize your approach and then escape that diet culture where you feel like you have to follow the, the latest trend because the latest trend is not necessarily for you it's not necessarily going to be helpful for you as an individual and that's truly empowering because then all those marketing tactics that are all over the internet <laughs> aren't everywhere yes they aren't they won't relate to you and you won't feel like you're not wasting your time you're not wasting your money you're not wasting your energy and you actually will start feeling better and like get your life back and I feel mm -hmm. like once you actually get that energy and as a thyroid patient <laughs> when you can get your ass out of bed it's a good day so amen and not only not only when you get out of bed but when you actually start having the energy to play with your kids and do all the things that you clean your house yes, work out the, yes, go to work, work out lose mm -hmm. that hypo weight like it's mm -hmm. I get, you get your life back and that's truly the biggest gift that I feel like I'm I got <laughs> and that I love yeah. to give to other people because when that happens you can feel alive when you feel alive you, you you're just alive and mm -hmm. life is great and <laughs> it's yep and we're all we all deserve that we're all capable of that and we all can get there we just have to do the very like just do the bio individual approach of what Healing. your own yeah your own individual deficiencies mm -hmm. are and that's it's really that simple but and it's very non-invasive it's very inexpensive it's just a very empowering test and well and what I did because I I think this is so so crucial for literally everyone is that I include the price of the test and you oh. um <laughs> at for, you know the interpretation into my package so when you when you work with me you're just like it or not you're gonna get one of these <laughs> it's happening it's um, so important it, it gives yeah. you a, such a great foundation because then mm -hmm. like we were saying earlier you get you get your nutrient deficiencies then that ties into your toxicities which can tie into your stress and adrenals what can tie into your viruses bacteria it's like this huge thing and then it's you can amazing. go and get further testing from there but it gives you such a great foundation to start with and mm -hmm. then it's all and then when you do all of my amazing coaching on top of it yeah <laughs> you're gonna That's turn into a rock part, star then you have this amazing person <laughs> who can coach you through you're mm. never alone it's mm. like we're all here for each other and we all deserve i always say we're all in this together because all of our I feel like all of us have to really stick together and realize that we're not we're not crazy and like we the symptoms that we have are very real and as a thyroid patient myself and I'm sure Sarah can agree I'm yeah. really tired of being told I'm crazy yeah and there's actual this way, reasons like why you yes. have your symptoms it's mm -hmm. our bodies like you were saying earlier are geniuses mm -hmm. they know exactly how to function and they don't just go haywire. They no. don't just sabotage us because what, they're pissed at us? Like, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Like, there is something causing something, causing your symptoms. And, you know, that's, we're both just like root cause coaches um, from our own experiences as hypo, and for me, Hashi's um, patients. Like, that is what's missing and that's what we focus on mm -hmm. so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this <laughs> and so if you um, aren't working with me and you're interested in getting one of these tests you can absolutely just reach out to Jessica um, or myself and I can hook you up with her 
Um, the test is. It's one about one fifty or two hundred dollars, depending on, depending on who you're working with, so to speak. But it's about but up between one fifty and two hundred dollars, which, which is and cheap, that, and that includes the testing as well as the interpretation mm -hmm. and the individual supplement program plan um, mm -hmm. and plan that comes with it. So it's very very inexpensive for a functional test yeah you know that's um like your month's month's worth of starbucks that's your brand new pair of shoes you can wait on that's you getting your hair done that you can wait on <laughs> um or your new handbag and um, there are so many places that everyone spends their money all the time and then they want to say oh i can't afford that oh i don't have money for that but then oh i don't feel good so i'm gonna go to starbucks and get a coffee so mm -hmm. You know, do yourself, show yourself some love and, you know, do this test so that you can get some help and feel better. And like you were saying, like restore your life and live happily again and not just suffer through the day and not be able to get out of bed and, you know, drag yourself around or not be the mom you want to be or, you know, there's, there's help. So I guess we should wrap it up right there then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you found this super helpful. Um, I'm really excited to educate you on this. And um, if you're interested in connecting with either of us, just shoot me a DM. So they can contact you at? Um, my email is JMS Wellness. So JMS, as in Sally, <laughs> wellness at 1111 at gmail.com. And I currently don't have any social media at this time but that will likely change she's working on it yes <laughs> all right so if you need that email again dm me let me know um or you can just dm me and um we will go from there so have a lovely rest of your saturday we are gonna go enjoy this beautiful park and i will talk to you soon bye bye <laughs> okay download